This video is about how to download a GPS map from either an email or a website and install it into your GPS unit. There are three steps to this process. First, you're going to download the maps to your computer. Second, you're going to write the maps to your SD card. Third, you're going to install the maps into your GPS. Okay, for step one, to download uh, the file to our computer, I've opened an email window here and I have an email containing the downloads. If you were downloading from a website, it's the same process. Uh, you would just click on the web links in the website. Um, so the first thing is, is Garmin has two different style GPS's. They have this Garmin old style operating system and a new style operating system. So you're going to need to decide which GPS you're going to want. So we have a GPS 60, which is the old style here. We're going to click on downloading the old style maps, this link here. When we do that, it opens a new window and says that there's no preview available. And that's really because these files are not able to run on a computer. They're only able to run in the GPS. So we're going to download the file. It says it's unable to scan for viruses. That's fine. We're saying download anyway. Uh, and we let the download start. Notice it is going to take about seven minutes uh, to make the download happen. Okay, download is complete now, so I'm going to open my downloads file. Um, here's that old style maps file here. We're going to double click on it, which unzips it, and it contains a file or folder, excuse me called old style. We open that and we see that there is a folder called Garmin. Now just for fun we're going to look inside real quick. Yes it has file in there. We're going to go back. Now I'm going to right click and copy that folder. Okay now step two is writing that file to that excuse me that folder to a micro SD card. So I'm going to install the micro SD card into my computer. And I get a pop-up window. Uh, and we're going to open it to view it. And I see it's an empty folder. It's on F. I come over into this range and I merely right click again and paste that folder that we had just copied. Okay, it took a few minutes, but now it's finished, um, and it looks like it's here. Just for fun again, we're going to open that file. We see that, or excuse me, open that folder. We see that file is still there. That's it. Uh, we can take the card out of the computer, and we're done. Step three, put the micro SD card back into your Garmin unit, and you're done. Hope that helps, and enjoy the ride.